Hey YouTube. This is my HF scale easy track layout, as you can see, using uh, Bachman's easy track in HF scale. The layout's an 8x12, or not 8x12, it's 8x20 foot uh, L shaped layout. It's three uh, four bay tables put in an L shaped, as you can see. This is going to be the uh, first layout update video that I've made. And recently, I've been working on the town section of my layout, as you can see here. And I use drywall mud and gray paint, as you can see. And I made it look like it's been repaved in one spot of it. And there's tire marks in another, as you can see, tire marks. And right here, I added a uh, oil spot. I added oil spots and stuff. And the way I've done my lines is I masked them off and then took a sponge and mixed it in some with white paint on the towel. And I just dabbed it on there and I think it came out pretty well. I might go back over it though and uh, do a little more because I think it'll look better. I might take some uh, gray paint and just kind of do it like, like a little bit of it. The main, the main road is made out of concrete patch, and the reason why that is, the uh, road in the town versus the road, the country road here, um, is concrete patch is because, well, I, wa I wanted to go to the store and get, get some uh, concrete patch, but I couldn't. So, I just used uh, drywall mud, and I think it looks pretty well. I think it, uh, versus the uh, concrete patch road and drywall road, I think, the, uh, I think they look pretty good. So, my plans are, I think I'm going to put a gas station on this side of town. And I think I'm going to put, well, as you can see, there's a station right there. But on the, on the uh, opposite side of the tracks here, I think I'm going to put a couple houses, if possible. And right here, I think I'm going to put um, shops or something. I'm thinking about getting like a Waller's kit. I think it'll look pretty well. As we continue, um, this layout tour slash update video, I've also been working on this tunnel right here. In this tunnel, I ran out of uh, plaster cloth, and I'm waiting to go to the store too, to or the hobby shop to go get some of that. But the cl the uh, closest hobby shop is about 60 miles away, and so I'm waiting. But uh, till then, I can run trains and stuff, obviously. The uh, main line, it runs around here, runs underneath this highway overpass, which I built. And it runs around here, into the tunnel. In which this tunnel right here is only about a foot and a half long. And so I don't really think it needs this access hole, as you can see here. But uh, I put it there just in case because I don't like having to deal with hard to reach places, especially when trying to run trains. I got my tunnel portals out of uh, foam board, which I think worked out pretty well. I made sure they're both the same uh, dimensions and such. I think it came out pretty well. Hoping to have signals on each side of it, but I don't know yet. And then as we continue down the main line, Right here's the opposite side of the tunnel, and it comes out the tunnel, goes around here, goes across this bridge, goes around here, and goes around the hill. This hill, what my plans are here is I think I'm going to have a country house here, and as you can see I have a uh, horse enclosure, or horse paddock, I don't know the exact wording for it, but uh, a fenced in area with uh, atlas fence, which I think came out pretty well, and I used uh, little CNX horses. I think that came out pretty well. And I'm I'm using Will and Scenics's uh fine turf and coarse turf, which I wish I'd went with blended because I think that would have looked a lot better. But I think it looks alright. But uh, I think we'll have a country house here, and then right here, 
And then we'll have my, uh, I will build a barn, which actually I'm building a barn for this. But uh, you only see the, about the back side of it when you're looking at it from the front of the layout, obviously. But uh, I think it'll look all right. I'm using foam board also for that, just the same as I did with the uh, tunnel portals. But as we continue around the hill, come around the hill, it goes across the crossing. And for the crossing, I used uh, JL Innovative Designs cross bucks, which I think they look pretty well. I wish here I had took some uh, drywall mud and as you can see where the cross the cross bucks are, put some drywall mud down there. I just used pieces of cork stuck in there, painted it. But uh, it don't look bad, but I wish I used drywall mud just to blend it in nice and neat. I think it would look pretty good. But anyway, as we continue around here, main line comes around here. It goes around the gravel company. And there's a gravel company spur right there. And also, by the way, for my trees, I just used twigs I found in my front yard. I stepped on some, that's what that pop was. Um, I used twigs from my front yard, actually from a mound of dirt. And usually, I try to find smaller ones, like these. And I think they look pretty well, but I'm going to uh, put some glue on them and probably get some clump foliage or something put on them and I think it'll look pretty good. But uh, like I said, as we continue around the main line, I used uh, foam, that white, like uh, white foam for this. I think it looks pretty well. But uh, as we continue around the main line, like I said, it goes around the gravel company. Excuse me one moment, I have to get around some objects. All right, there we go. Comes around here, goes around the gravel company. You can see right there. Comes around here. Goes through the switch, which is the uh, spur for the uh, gravel company. Right here. And if you look on one of my other videos, I did some switching here. I'm also going to be adding a um, couple more industries. Thinking about a uh, grain on the far end there, the way the camera's pointing, um, and I think that'll look pretty well. But as we continue around here, there's the uh, gravel company spur, which I'm going to add another spur just for it, so offloading, so I can just bring cars and go around the layout, and over there probably somewhere. But like I said, as we continue, we go around a pond, which I'm going to use a uh, two-part epoxy for to fill in come around here go down the main line go through town and goes across the creek there's my tripod I use it um, to film uh, most videos but the last couple I haven't used it just because I couldn't find it, I just found it the other day. I had it in my room, and um, I got like these store bins, bins I put stuff in, and I found it, and it was broke for a while. I had it for a while before I actually started YouTube and used it for photos and such, and uh, found it, and I think it works pretty well. But uh, anyway, the main line comes through around here, through town. Goes across the two crossings, which I think, like I said earlier, look pretty good. And here you can actually get some uh, more detail of how the uh, parking spaces and such look. And the reason why there's scenery on one end and it's just pink foam on the other is because, well, I wanted to test and see how the ground cover would work. And so I think it came out pretty well. So that's that. And also the hill right there. But uh, comes through town, goes past the station, goes around, goes around a uh, slight curve, goes across a gr uh, bridge, across another crossing, which is the country road, goes around here. Here's all my locomotives. I have one upstairs. I'm actually getting ready to to uh, do some uh, work on. 
But uh, there's my locomotives. I have uh, a lot of ES44 ACs. Uh, one of them's on the uh, line right now. I got two Conrails, two ES44 AC, or uh, two, two ES44 AC, yeah, that's right. ES44 ACs. Um, 8089 heritage units, also the uh, Wabash heritage unit and the uh, nickel plate raid. I got two um, SD70s, 6564 and uh, 6633. 6564 does not, or uh, 6564 has sound, but 6633 does not. The rest of my locomotives have sound except that Union Pacific right there. And also, I have a steam locomotive, a uh, New York Central. And it ran, it's DCC ready, but it quit running. And I think it's one of these plugs. There's uh, plugs that go in between them to connect the tender and the uh, locomotive because the uh, circuit board and everything for it is in the um, tender. But, uh, yeah. And I'm hoping to get it running sometime. But uh, as we continue down the main line, I, mean, I keep getting off track. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but we go across the crossing. Now I'm going to put some more of the uh, JL Innovative Designs um, cross box. As you can see there, I got, I had uh, two sets of them I bought from a hobby shop. And I use them down there as you've seen. And uh, I'm going to use them here. But now I need to get more or so for the town. But it goes across the uh, crossing. Goes around here. This is going to be on another industry. And we'll have a transload. And we'll bring in box cars. And the reason why I have a uh, diamond here instead of a uh, cross uh, turnout is because there ain't enough room here to put a turnout. Because you can't have a curve going to a curve because the uh, knuckles and stuff buckle and it wants to derail. So. I put this in here, I'm going to put another turnout over there and have it come around and go into the diamond. And also, what I like about this is I can have um, the sound of a diamond on my layout, which I like. I've wanted a diamond and now I can finally do it, so I did it. And that way I can also have this industry, and I think it'll be a neat little area because I can put a turnout right here and have um, another industry right there. And this will be my industrial area right here on this end of the layout. So, comes around here. Goes across the diamond. Here's where the trains park. Goes around there and it just well, where we started, right there. It just goes underneath the highway overpass. So it's pretty much the whole main line. And like I said, I think I'm gonna put a uh, grain company, like a spur there. And I like to have a uh, run around track. But uh, I gotta get some switches because I made a uh, mistake when I first got them. I kept having derailments. I don't know why, but I kept having derailments, and so I sanded the frogs, and I never should have. But that's why I only have one turnout in the layout. I had, I had, like I said, one here, and earlier I had one there on the on the layout, and that's where I had my uh, gravel offloading. But I'm probably going to buy um, a couple more turnouts and put one there and one there, and I like to have a runaround track. That way I can. Uh, pulling a train to the siding and run around it and go the opposite direction. So I think that'd be pretty nice. And I can also park a train on it too if I want. But uh, I'm gonna have a grain, a grain company here and I'll get some grain cars. I think they'll look pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I think that's about it. Wrap up this video. So thanks for watching hope you liked it there's gonna be a lot more videos in the near future I'm still trying to get I'm still new to this YouTube thing so bear with me here if I if the camera's shaky and if I'm slurring my words and stuff and it's kind of late at night and I'm trying my best here to do this video so I hope you liked it thanks for watching